Hi, welcome to Get a Clue, Casual Gamer, where we get a clue, C-L-U-E, about a game. C is for components, what are you going to find inside that box? L is for length of play, how long does this game take to play? U is for uniqueness, does this remind me of any other game? And E is for ease, how easy is it to learn to each play? How easy is it to find? How easy is it on your pocketbook? So today we're going to be looking at the game Bonsai. Bonsai came out in 2023, this year, from this recording. Bonsai is um, a tiling game, and we'll talk more about that when we get to the uniqueness time part. But today, we're going to start with C, components. What's inside this box? Obviously, the first thing is the rule book. And I'm using it to help me name all the different components. Um, I literally just took the shrink wrap off this game. So I have um, not punched anything out yet. So included in these punch boards are um, four Saishi Saishi starting tiles. And I'm going to lay them down here and uh, four pot tiles and 15 goal tiles and 52 wood tiles, 52 leaf tiles, 26 flower tiles and 26 fruit tiles. Got a lot of punching out to do. But inside the box also, you'll find score pad with quite a, you know, one-sided though, but it's a score pad. And the basically the main board. Okay? And five extra bags for all those punched out things. And the cards come into in a bag. And the cards are broken up into different sections. Um, you have four summary cards. This game plays one to four players. So the, basically these are the reminder cards, the player cards. Whoops. Don't wanna lose one already. Okay. And then we have 47 Zen cards. Amongst the, there's five different kinds of Zen cards. I have not shuffled them or anything, so they really are the five different kinds. You have growth, tool, helper, master, and parchment. Um, actually, if I flip this page, I think I'll find out how which ones are which, or maybe not. Maybe it's on a different page. Oh yeah, it's in the back. I remember seeing it in the back of the page, yeah. Okay, so these are the tool cards. And, okay, the growth cards have wood, leaves, flowers, and um, fruit. Then you have the master cards and the helper cards and the parchment cards. Okay. And that, my friends, is it. That's everything that's inside this box of bonsai. Okay, so length of play. Well, um, the box in the front, the top box, didn't say. I looked it up on um, 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 BGG, Board Game Geek, and it's, okay, yeah, it says 40 minutes in the back. So I would give it 45 to an hour. <laughs> it's not a super long game. Um, you know, Monopoly can take three, so, yeah. Mm -mm. Um so yeah, give it 40 to 60 minutes for the game. And uh, so it's really not a long game. It's not, you know, a five minute game. 
I tend to like 30 to 60 minute games. It gives you enough time to um, do something productive and, and, you know, not just go fish. Um, you actually get to have enough time to think things through, but also um, it's not too long because I don't like really long games myself. I'd rather play a whole lot of shorter games than two very long games. Mm -mm. So this one's a good good length of game. Um, uniqueness. How? What does it remind me of? Okay. Well, in the if you are not a hobby gamer and know nothing about hobby games, the only tile laying game I can think of in the normal outside the hobby world is dominoes. There are so many other types of games in the hobby world that are tile laying games and that is what bonsai is. Bonsai is a tile laying game. You're going to pick up a piece of wood tile and place it or a piece of leaf tile and place it or a flower or a fruit tile and place it. That's what you're doing and you're creating um, a bonsai tree. In fact, in the rule book, they have examples of real bonsai tree shapes and give you a little bit of information about them. But in the game itself, you're going to be creating, let me see if I can find something. Okay, so this is, they're showing a little bit of how to score it. You know, this is someone's bonsai tree when they're done. Um, you have the wood and you have the leaves and you have a couple fruit looks like. Yep. And um, so just, okay. <laughs> and it's like, it's a bonsai tree. It's a tile laying game. Now, if you are a hobby gamer or have played a few hobby games, maybe not a lot, but some, um, some other tile laying games that you might have heard of would be something like Cascadia. Um, Calico is on the heavier side, but Calico is a tile laying game. Um, behind me, let's see, which ones have I, um, okay, Penny Black is a tile laying game, and, uh, let's see, over here, Mystic Pass, well, Mystic Pass is not necessarily, Caesar's Empire, definitely a, a tile laying game, um, New York Zoo is a tile laying game, uh, Cacao is one, I mean, there's a lot of tile laying games and it happens to be one of my favorite um, mechanisms or you know so um that's why i tend to have a lot of them because i really have found that i like that type of game it's a puzzly you're just figuring out where to put and what to what to pick up and what to put where and that's basically what a tile laying game is so there are a lot of tile laying games out there but um, I am really interested in this one. Um, it is very, it, it, it just comes across as a little bit on the Zen side, you know, not frenetic. It's just kind of like you're creating your bonsai tree. <laughs> okay, so then how, E for ease, how easy is it to learn to each play? How easy is it to find? How easy is it on your pocketbook? Okay, we have the components, the setup. Um, there's a game variant that once you get comfortable with the game, they say you can add this variant. But then the game, you know, it's like, okay, a lot of pictures. Um, you you uh, meditate, you cultivate, and claiming a gold tile at the end of the game. That's not much. This is all about the solo version. Uh, the solo game, and this is still the solo game, um, because there's different uh, challenges that you can choose uh, to take on, different solo scenarios. And then after that is actually a little bit of education about bonsai trees, uh, the origins of bonsai, bonsai care, and then that page that shows the main bonsai styles. Um, and that's it. On the back cover, it has a nice explanation of the 
um, the cards, the different cards that are here, and the different goal tiles. And you keep that out so during the game, if you have a question about one of them, there's a lot of information right there. I like that. Um, they don't have a player aid per se, but with that on the back, that will help a lot during um, the first couple games that you're playing. And um, so yeah, it's really not a complicated game at all. It's just uh, drafting and placing of tiles and trying to get goals so that you can get extra points and such like that. It's a tile laying puzzly game. There you go. Uh, and how easy is it to find? How easy is it on your pocketbook? Okay, so I went and I looked it up. It is available on Amazon. Uh, retail is $35 or $34.99 or $34.95, something like that. I just round up $35. Uh, someone is selling it on Amazon for $34.50 or $34.49, um, which is just under, just under uh, retail. And so they do have it on Amazon. When I go to... Uh, miniaturemarket.com they have some in stock for $27 uh, a, a handful in stock so you know time, if you're interested time to go check it out if you are um, looking at game nerds they're out of stock their price was $25.47 you know $25.50 um, but they're out of stock right now so hmm yeah uh, the cheapest way would be miniaturemarket.com if you're not going to pay for um, shipping. If you're having to pay for shipping, it probably brings it up to about the same as Amazon if you have Prime and, you know, if you have to pay shipping for Amazon, then, you know, skip that to, you know, take that into consideration. But that's it. It's it's available. It's brand new. It's brand new this year, 2023. So um, I think most of the people who rushed to get it now have it. Um, though some might put it on their Christmas list. And now you know a little bit about it. Maybe you can put it on your Christmas list and uh, do it soon so that people can try and get it before it sells out. Okay? So until next time, <laughs> uh, God bless you and your family, and happy gaming. Bye.